Despite it being a record-breaking spring break travel period, we have noticed nothing has changed for a dangerous situation at Orlando International Airport. Last November, we showed you how dozens of drivers were ignoring no parking signs, stopping right there on the shoulders leading up to the terminals. The trend is even worrying a former police chief who used to be in charge of protecting the airport. News 6's Eric Von Anken talked to him about it. This is Jeff Fuqua Boulevard. Chances are you've driven down this road a bunch of times if you've picked up or dropped off anybody at the airport. Over there on the other side of these trees, that's where the planes are. Down the road is the terminals. But this is not a parking place, yet people continue to park here. And neither the airport nor the police department are stopping them. I asked both the airport and the police department, why does this keep happening? And is this not a concern? Both gave me similar responses that they continue to work together, that drivers disregard signage, and the airport understands OPD cannot be stationed there at all times. Former Police Chief Orlando Rallone, you retired from the Orlando Police Department in 2022. This was an issue that you were dealing with up until the point that you left the police department. Correct. We did the best that we could with the resources that we had at the time to send officers out there to put or post proper signage. The Orlando Police Department has said that they take safety seriously, but not enough, as we've seen, to constantly patrol and move people off of those shoulders. Should they? I think that is something that the, Orlando, the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority and the Orlando Police Department must address and must answer. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes aggressive action, whether it's aggressive enforcement. The bottom line is this is still a secure area on airport property. Even the outskirts of the main terminal are considered uh, areas that could be affected if someone was thinking about bringing harm. We asked both the airport and the police department, are they concerned about this? They did not address that particular question. Are you concerned about it? Any citizen who drives by that area should be concerned about someone using an emergency lane that is reserved for individuals in need. And you also believe this is a potential threat to the airport? Well, anytime you have someone who's violating the law and basically w within a facility as, as important as the airport, there should be some concern also as to who it is that's parking there. And I remember just a few weeks ago at the start of spring break, a suspicious bag shut down Terminal B for almost three hours. And the former Orlando police chief says there's a fix for this that doesn't have to cost a lot of money if manpower is the issue. He says, first of all, put some more parking signs out here. There are none where I'm standing and only two in this entire area. The second thing he says, do something motion activated like flashing lights or a loudspeaker that would tell drivers to move around the clock. At MCO, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6.